We're gonna start this puppy up. Clear, prop. And welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week, we want to talk about how you can transport your home-built aircraft before it's ready to fly on its own. Many of you are building your aircraft in your garage, and I know some of you are even building in your living rooms, but that's another story. At some point, you're going to need to move your project to the airport for final assembly, attaching the wings and getting it all ready for first flight. Another reason you may want to transport an aircraft is, is if you want to buy or sell a plane. Sometimes you need to pick it up or deliver it on a trailer. A trailer can be a great method for moving your aircraft and there are so many styles and sizes of trailers that you can beg, borrow, or buy for the occasion. If you haven't tried to move a fuselage on its landing gear over a long distance using a trailer, you may have not considered that the width of the aircraft's gear may be too wide for many utility trailers. So your first step is to measure the width of your gear and then compare to what trailers are available. If the trailer bed is not wide enough, then loading and securing the trailer is going to be complicated and you're going to have a struggle on your hands. One option is to use one of those large, fully enclosed trailers. They are quite heavy, and they also need to be checked that their wheel wells do not block the track of the aircraft gear as you are loading. They may also require a rather large vehicle for towing. Here is one suggestion that I have used on several occasions when I had to move aircraft projects across the country. I have found the best method for transporting my home built was to use a snowmobile trailer. A snowmobile trailer has several advantages making it uniquely suited for transporting a small home built aircraft fuselage. First, it's light in weight and can be moved easily by any size vehicle. It rides very close to the ground due to its small wheels, which makes it simple to load and unload. Some models allow the bed to be tilted for easy loading or used with a small ramp. Most importantly, the bed of the snowmobile trailer is typically the widest size allowed by law over the road. There are no wheel wells as the small wheels are situated completely under the bed. This means your aircraft's landing gear will fit with little problem. Remember, the snowmobile trailer was designed for transporting snowmobiles, usually two across. The weight combination of a pair of snowmobiles is very close to your home-built aircraft so the trailer's suspension will be tuned perfectly for that load. Securing the aircraft to the trailer can be as easy as blocking the tires to the trailer deck with lumber that can be easily screwed to the wooden surface. Straps can be added and attached to the metal sides of the trailer. Because these trailers tend to be short in length, a major portion of the aircraft fuselage will hang beyond the trailer's end. But this poses no problem. A bright red flag or similar attached to the very rear keeps things legal and safe. Watch out for the swing of your tail as you go around corners. If you cannot borrow one of these trailers, you can find them used at an attractive price, especially in areas of the country that get snow. Lots of them can be found in the north where snowmobiling is a way of life. 
it's not unheard of to resell a used trailer for the same price that it was purchased. They are easy to inspect and repair. Parts like wheels, bearings, tires are readily available so you can keep these things going for a long time if you desire. I have traveled thousands of miles with this setup and love the lightweight and ease of handling including loading and unloading with just one other person and pulling it with a small passenger car. As trailers go, the simplicity and its lightweight make the snowmobile trailer a winner compared to other more elaborate trailer options. Transporting the other aircraft components like the wings can be done on a separate trip without the fuselage or you can pack these under the wing as we see here. Again, plan for some overhang due to the trailer not being long enough. Picking up an aircraft kit from the factory, typically in a crate, can also use the snowmobile trailer quite efficiently. With the trailer deck close to the ground, loading and unloading is made as easy as possible. For those builders concerned with exposing their project to the harsh weather elements over a period of time, you can have your plane wrapped with the same technique that is used for preserving boats over the winter. The familiar blue plastic shrink wrap can be professionally applied by a professional for a reasonable fee to prepare for a long trip. When it's ready for use, it's simple to remove. I tried cutting corners once and tried using that stretchy shipping wrap material from Home Depot. It seemed like a good idea but did not work. It did not have the strength needed when flying down the highway. The blue boat wrap worked wonderfully. And there you have it. If you are looking for a good method to move your home-built project across town or across the country, try the snowmobile trailer option. I never did sell my snowmobile trailer. I now use it as a mobile workbench. Lots of flat surface that I can work on and lay out parts and pieces for projects. And yes, people want to borrow it all the time. It's tough being popular when you have all the right equipment. Now, everyone, please, back to building.